You guys didn't seriously think I was gonna give up that easily, did you? Did you? Did you? Well, I don't know. Well, I am back to officially and hopefully move out of this fucking house finally. And I haven't paused for a good reason, because for some reason my L button doesn't work. Anyway. Shit is going on. That's what. Okay. No. Anyway, I moved some, some, some things around. I've been working on this all fucking day long to try and um, execute my last minute idea that I had for this particular video, which was my attempt on making sure I got the fuck out of this house. <clears throat> okay. So there is probably only really one thing to really mention is... For one, that face, and two, um, <clears throat> usually at the very beginning, if you do not have this house secured with burglar alarms, this is usually what the thief would take, because this is actually a locked item, but we actually have it in this house. I don't know why, but usually he just comes in here and steals this, and then yeah, and you make some money off of it. But we managed to keep this for the entire time we were here, so that's pretty awesome. Anyway... So it's 12.37 p.m. Dudley's super fucking happy. I mean, he could practically, you know, I don't know. He could practically just one out. My guy, not so much, but <clears throat> I do things. Yeah, things are going to happen. Um, and also, I, I'm i going to do something else kind of unique. Most people would have the roommate and the lover be the same person. I'm going to try and make them two different people, and we're going to see how that goes. So, let's go ahead and move forward with this. Okay, let's see. What is he doing? He's having fun. Okay, you can do that. Whatever the fuck you want. Um, so, if this does not work, then the only reason that could be is because I may, I may, I'm too good of friends with Zara. Or Zara. I don't even know how to say her name. Um, that's really going to be the only reason. Okay, so what I want him to do right now, and I think that's going to be dirt. Okay, no, that's still good. All right. Uh, I'm going to want him to grill a little bit. Actually, I want, I want him to grill twice. So I'm going to wait for him to grill this one and then the next one. And I'm going to have my character call for the party. And like I said, if there's, if this does, if I cannot successfully, if I can't ask her to be my roommate, it's because we were too good of friends. Because I made her up, to, like at the last party, I think I made her up to, all the way up to 99, but by that point, or by 100, but by that point, it was like 2 in the morning, and I think it was already too late to ask to be roommates. Uh, so, there's, yeah, like I said, there's going to be no way this cannot happen at this point, unless I may, unless I went a little too far with making, with making friends with her anyway. Although I was pretty sure you can get away with a hunt with being at a hundred or whatever, you know. That's just that's what I think though. Um, yeah, so this is gonna probably And yes, this is pretty much normal. I don't know why Dudley can somehow goof this up. It's like it's like every time he like it's like every two or three times he grills like that he starts a fire. It's like how do you do that? Okay, yeah, stop panicking. Even the fireman's like, dude, calm down. You get ye fuck over there and no talk, greet, greet the party. And you, no, what are you doing? Grab the food and serve it, thank you. And what are you doing? Okay, you're just standing there for no reason. Alright. <clears throat> okay, and there is Zara. Um... We'll, we'll see. Zara. Has to be roommate. There we go. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even gonna... I'm not... I'm gonna cut the crap and get to it. What? I don't even know. Like, I see... Wow. Wow, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, honestly, I guess I, okay. I'll, we'll 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 try. We'll start the we'll get we'll get the party going, and then we'll ask her at the end of the by the end of the night before the police get you know everywhere and you know start 
fucking causing bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's just a little bit early to ask that. So we're gonna just try and. Um, yeah, we're just gonna try and let this party kind of go commence. And why is there only six people? I have no idea. There's normally like ten or twelve people. That's all right though. It's cool. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna let this go on for a little bit, and then maybe we'll see about asking her. I don't know what the deal is that with that though. Like, really, I already threw the raging party. I mean, all I have to do is just ask somebody to move in. You know, that's it. That makes like zero sense on how how that works. But all right. I've normally not really had a problem with that, like, ever. Like, I don't know. And I have made it past this part at least twice. At the very least twice, so, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, we're just gonna keep this going for a little bit, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Why is my character so fucking dead tired? He didn't... Okay. This, this is, uh, something I didn't actually know about right offhand. But if you do this... You can see his energy would jump up a little bit, but his comfort will go down. And yeah, you can be that. You can just pretty much do that to be a fucking dickhead. I'm gonna do it again because I'm 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 a complete asshole. Let's see, there you go. See now we'll be good for a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and go back in here for a second. And we'll just, you know, socialize, kind of be cool, you know, whatever. Okay. A second. And ask be roommate. Maybe this time, let's see. Ask her to be a roommate! Please! For the love of God! Yes! Success! Now this is what I call a party pad! You should move in with me, then we'll meet some people who really know how to party! GG! We are out of here! You know, you have really gone above and beyond the call of duty here. Let me compensate you for the things you bought. Malcolm owes serious $6,938. <laughs> Yeah, that's how much shit I fucking put in that house. And we are fucking out of there. Finally. Holy fuck. That did not take for fucking ever. Hot to trot. Yes, I would like... I would love to save right now. I am glad we are just the fuck out of there. Hey, Sirius. We should try... We should throw some major parties. My friends and... I'm dying to meet you, but first we should finish some things I promised the landlord, landlord I would do. Press start for goals. Okay. Okay, so we're going to throw another raging party. Try and score, quote-unquote, with a party guest. Upgrade your abood. When you go to buy mode, get promoted to level 6, and it's going to probably be 7 and 8 as well. So it's going to be pretty much the next stage of Dudley, for the most part. And yeah, you thought she was like, okay, okay, looking, and then like right there, boom. Ugliest face you've probably ever seen. Um, I hope she knows Pauline. Please tell me she knows fucking Pauline. And fuck. Hold on, I want to see something. Okay, that's stupid. How does people not know Pauline? Like, I don't get it. They know this Debbie and Ginger. Or they know the party girls, but they don't know fucking... They don't know the peacocks. What the hell's up with that? And Pam... And... Yeah... I'm lost, cause like, it's like nobody in the game knows these fucking people. It just drives me nuts. Anyway, <clears throat> so I don't know. I might have to do something weird. I don't know, cause I want Pauline to be the quote unquote lover, but that apparently is not gonna happen. Okay, so first, as always, we're gonna check with burglar alarms, which there are absolutely none. Not to my, not really a surprise at all, I don't think. There's a phone. There's the phone. Probably need more than one phone, though. 
And I don't know if you can really score in this level, or if you have to actually buy the thing that you have to score with. I have a feeling you have to buy the thing to score with, quote unquote, but um, let me see. Let me look through here right quick. No, we don't have it unlocked. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Let me see if it's in the goals by chance. And there it is. Okay, so we're just going to start with upgrading the abode. Okay. It's such a weird word to say. It's abode. Okay. And we only really, we only really need one or two burglar alarms, like just for around the doors and stuff, and places where uh, the house can be accessed. The places where the house can, the house can be accessed. Okay. I think there is only just those three. I would say I'm probably the least familiar with this area because it normally takes me less time than pretty much anywhere else in the entire game. Um, I don't know why, it just is. It's probably because I get a better idea of how to party and how to score, quote-unquote, but I don't know. Um, okay. And because we actually have the money to do this, let's go ahead and upgrade the TV. Because the TV needs an upgrade. and Because that, that other one's a piece of crap. It's a piece of shit! Or this one's more like the real, more like... Yeah, it's way better. And this couch, suck a dick. Fuck off. Okay. Here we go. And for some reason that won't go. I don't know. That's weird. Can put it right there. But, uh... What I'll just do then is just move this over. I want to move the table, dick. Thank you. Let's put it right there. Well, I was holding the L button the entire time, as if I really needed to. And I like the strip, the poker, the strip poker thing to be outside. I don't know why. I just do. Um, I will put that there. And let's see, what do we got for a dining room? Uh, shit. Okay. Yeah, we got a pretty crappy dining room. I ain't gonna lie. Um. You can't really throw a party if you only have four chair four chairs available, you know, really. Like, I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I think that's a really crappy party table. We're going to just pretty much do the same thing, I guess. I mean, it's kind of boring that we're kind of doing the same thing as we did with Dudley's house. But... <clears throat> more chairs provide more comfort, so, yeah. And we'll keep we'll keep the consi the design quote unquote consistent with what's going on in the house. Hopefully these are the better ones actually. Okay, yeah, they are. Yeah, those other ones just kind of sucked a dick. Yeah. Not that these are like awesome, but you know, hey, it's all right. Yeah, we should definitely be able to get that that bed. Even though it will be a little bit before we can actually get it, because it is worth a lot. It's worth about three and a half times. It's worth about, uh, yeah, a little over three times the amount I have, so, yeah. Okay, so let's just start with that. And there you go, the house is looking great. You get the Vibromatic Heart Bed, which is your scoring bed, yeah. Um, now... Even though I can't buy it right now, I'm thinking about maybe considering about thinking about. Um, oh no, I thought it was ten thousand. No, it's another thing that's worth ten thousand. That's only forty five hundred. So actually, I could probably say. Oh, are you kidding? Literally six fucking dollars short. Wow. All right, that's that's amazing. Okay then. Um, Suck a dick trash can. There we go. Boom. Lover circle. I don't know. Okay. So now. And where's my fucking drink? Holy shit. I 
Okay, sorry about that. So I just realized how mu how fucking long that took. That took pretty much a whole episode by itself. <clears throat> so I guess I'll go ahead and end it. And so this episode is going to be really fucking long because I don't... I kind of want to mesh it into one episode. Nah, I'm not going to. It would be way too long and I don't think anybody would watch it. So anyway... I I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Adios.